what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pit Soul R tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Cubone Pokemon 104 on the Pokedex. Now, what colors do we need for Cubone? Well, we're going to need some black wool, light gray wool, brown wool, gray wool, white wool, and then sand. And I got him from CandyPatterns.com, description down below. So, we're going to begin with two blocks of our black wool. So, here we go one and two. Hopefully, that's not too close. And then after those two black wools, we're going to place two white wools. And then one black on the right. And then three blacks on the left. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Now we're going to place one black wool. And then right here, we're going to place two sand blocks. Then we're going to grab our brown. And we're going to do a row of three right here. And then this time a row of four. Now we're gonna place two black wools on top of the sand and two black wools flanking the right of the brown wool. Then we're gonna grab our black wool again and we're gonna place two blocks, a brown and then a black on top. Then we're going to place four blocks next to the sand. So one, two, three, four. And then starting here, we're going to place three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to place a black wool here. Now what we're going to do next is that we are going to place two sand blocks. And then a row of three. And finally, a row of four. So make sure you guys have this so far. I do have a tendency to talk quickly and build quickly, so I do apologize. But I'm going to make sure to take a lot of breaks throughout the video, including this one. So pause it if you need to. Make sure that your Cubone looks like this up to this point before we move on to the next step. That next step is going to involve placing one brown wool here and then two black wools on top. And then another two. And then once again, two more blocks. Now, do you see this brown wool down here? We're going to do two more diagonal. So it's three diagonal brown wools, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to place a black wool here. And then two on the top brown block towards the left. Then we're going to place a white wool and two light grays. Then we're going to place three black wools in this particular shape. And then two black wools on the top one, two. Followed by a white, a light gray, and then two black wools on the tippity top. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to place a white and then a light gray. And below it, we're going to place our two black wools and then two black wools up the side. And then we're going to place two more white wools and we end up with this. It's going to be like the, the bone that he holds around. This is a pretty sad Pokemon because if you guys see like the skull he's wearing, that's actually his mom's and he cries at night during a full moon. So this is a pretty sad Pokemon. So I kind of feel bad for him, but we're building him so he can be happy. So let's just keep at it. Even though it's a pretty sad story. Now we're going to grab our brown wool and we're going to go all the way to the right. But first make sure that you have done the bone right here. So we can continue building on the right. And now we're going to place two blocks right here. So one, two. And then two black wools and one black wool on the top. And we're going to grab our brown again and we're going to go up by two up the side. Then we're going to place two black wools, a brown, and then three black wools. So once again, that's going to be two black, one brown, three black. Then we're going to place a black on top of this brown. And then two black wools right here. Now we can grab our brown and we're going to fill this bottom part in. We usually fill it in at the top. Not at the top, but at the end of the video. But, you know, because it's like barely any blocks at all, we're just going to do it together right here, so. 
this is what you guys should have so far now we're gonna be working on the skull because that's basically the the most biggest part of this pit sword is just the skull but that's gonna be the body and the bone that we have going on so now for the skull we're gonna start with two blocks of our light gray wool right here so one two and then one two again so make sure you have that little c shape so yes in zebra or zebra some people pronounce it like that then we're going to place two gray wools. Then we're going to place two black wools and three black wools up this side to make sure you have added this little addition. Now we're going to place two light grays. And then on top of this gray block, we're going to place four light grays, just like that. And then one light gray on the top part of that. Then we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to go up by three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to place a light gray and a white. We're going to grab our black wool and we're going to place two blocks on the top, or I mean on the side, and then two blocks on the top. Kind of getting ahead of myself, but just make sure you have those two blocks on the side and then on the top. And we're going to place a light gray. And next to this light gray, we are going to place a row like this. We're going to place a light gray, two white wools, and a light gray. So I'm going to go over it again. We're gonna place two black wools, then a light gray, two white wool wools. I almost said bulls. There's no way we can place bulls in Minecraft. So once again, two black wools, one light gray, two white, one light gray. Then we're gonna grab our black wool and starting on the second block of our two blocks of black wool, we're gonna place five going towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna place a black wool here. Now we're going to grab our light gray again and we're going to place three blocks in this particular shape. Just basically like cornering the black wool. Then we're going to grab two black wools for the top and two black wools on the left side just like that. So this is what it should look like up to this point, pause it if you need to. Now would be a great stopping point in this video to make sure just in case I, I talk too fast or just in case you might have made a mistake. Here would be a good time to just double check and make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Now what we're going to do is that we are going to place one black wool and then a light gray wool. To the left of this light gray wool, we're going to place three black wool. So one, two, three. Then we are going to place a white wool. And a black to the left. Below this black, we are going to place two white wools and a light gray wool. So there's our two white and our light gray. And then all we have to do is place three black wools. And that's going to be the outline for our cube bone. We still have to go put the eye in a couple more detail blocks. But this is all that you guys need to have up to this point because we have done the bone, the body, and the top part of the skull. So lots of details, so we're doing good. And now what we're going to do next is that we're going to start with the eye. And the eye is probably the most difficult part of this build just because it has quite a bit of detail really crammed together. But we're going to do it correctly if we follow this little step. So we're going to place one black, then a brown, and a black. So make sure you have a black, a brown, black. And then next to this black, we are going to place two brown wools. Then two white wolves and two black wolves. We're going to place a black, a brown, and a white. So make sure you have that black, a brown, white. Then we're going to place two black wolves to the left of the brown and white, and then one black wool below the white. And we can't forget to place one more brown wool. 
and we're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna place two black He's pretty much the eye for Cubone Maybe that's a little tear falling down that one little white thing because like I said before it's a pretty sad Pokemon But now we have to do a couple more blocks of detail before we can start filling them in with some white wool and that to do the detail What are we gonna do? Let's start from the top and work our way down right here. We're gonna place three blocks of our light gray wool And then we're gonna place a light gray with a gray on the top. Now we're gonna start working on the bottom. Right here, we're gonna place one light gray wool in that one little block area that we left behind. And then we are gonna place four light gray wool. So one, two, three, four. Then starting on this little block right here, we're going to place four moving towards the right. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to place another two. And now right here we have to do like a little nose hole that this wall has. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to place a gray wool and then two black diagonal wools. And then finally one light gray wool so this is what you guys should have up to this point all that we have left to do is now to grab our white wool and just fill in the empty parts of the skull a great stopping point because after i fill it in that's going to be the end of the video so make sure you guys have this for your cube bone before i go fill it in with some white wool so i'm going to do that right now and i'll be back in just a second And there we go, that is Cubone, Pokemon number 104 on the Pokedex. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little Pokemon Pet Store tutorial. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button for us. Subscribe if you haven't so you can stay up to date with our order with, ugh, I cannot talk, with all our newest videos. I try to post twice a day, probably in the future we'll start po posting three times because Zach's going to come back and he's going to start making more videos. So that's good. And once again, thank you so much for watching. This was William from Rocket Zero. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time.